I am working on a craft video that is taking forever. So we're gonna take a quick break, set up our Barbie style room, and open some mail. Ooh, I think this one has goodies. Yeah, and there's a card. Thank you for being an inspiration in the world of doll collectors since 2014. I hope these pieces that I made for you are to your liking. They reflect my gratitude and admiration. Mariana, or is it Mariana? Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. My underscore doll underscore world underscore. Aw, that is so sweet. And check out all these handmade goodies. Mariana doll clothes. Ah. <gasps> Is there an Etsy shop? Because these jeans look pretty cool. They're bell bottoms with pockets. Loving the way you did the tag. They hook in the back. Those are functional lined pockets with little details. Loving that. Pretty nice fit in everything. There's a bodysuit with a little hook behind the neck. Loving the details at the neck and the bottom of the sleeves. Yeah, love, 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 love. Let's put the jeans on. This is pretty cute. Here's a brown corduroy skirt. I love trying on doll clothes. The skirt also has pockets. There's a button detail in the front and there's a split. Very cute. Here's a white shirt with embroidered flowers. It's oversized. Nice little detail in the back. Let's pair it with these green included shorts. The shirt has hooks in the front. I hook the top two, and then I tuck the bottom of the shirt into the shorts, giving us a pretty comfy, casual look. You all are so talented and the best gift givers. You all have been wanting me to do more crafts with the capsules from mini brands. Someone in the comments wanted us to turn them into planters, and I thought that was a great idea. So let's give it a try. But first, we uh, kinda need to open one. This is a Toy Mini Brands Series 3, and I am hoping to get more books. They're totally my favorite. Bakugan is not a book, and I am sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Ah, uh, come on. Here we go. This is a box for Magic the Gathering. Okay. And this is, yay, a foodie mini brands. Okay. I like this. I have a feeling my dolls are crazy about surprise capsules, just like me. Aw, this one's open. Wait a minute. It's Hello Kitty iHome Bluetooth speaker. I think we can take it out. Yes, we can. It's a kind of a rose gold metallic color. There's some little speaker details on the back. Perfect for the doll who is a Hello Kitty fan. And we can put it back in the box when not in use. Our last one is another Hello Kitty iHome Bluetooth speaker. One is one of the special ones and the other is common. How cool is that? Plus we got money in the collector's guide. $50 bills, y'all. Let's take the wedges from the capsule. There's two different sizes and I think this will work with either one. I was planning on making these planters for an upcoming project, so I already had the supplies. If we can figure it out now, it might save me some time. So I have some brown felt, then we need wire or some lacing. I'm using lacing because it's flexible and I think or hope it'll be easy to glue. And some artificial plants. I take one of the wedges, this is one of the shorter ones, and I'm just gonna glue brown felt onto the outside. Hmm, let's go with this one instead. I apply glue to the outside of the capsule, then apply the felt, wrapping it over the edges. Cover all visible areas. That looks pretty good. I left it open in the back so we can apply poster putty and attach it to a dollhouse wall. 
take lacing or wire. If you don't have lacing or wire, you could always take recycled paperboard and paint it black. Cut it into strips, then glue it onto the capsule. If you're using lacing, it doesn't like being hot glued, so you do have to enclose the whole end in the glue. But now we have our little planter. Then we can just pick off a few artificial plants and glue them inside. And we can choose not to glue them in so we can change the flowers with the seasons. Then use a little poster putty or glue it under a dollhouse window for the dolls to enjoy. You can hang them at the front door or on a balcony. It's up to you. Back in November, House of Rehab, an Instagram account that normally makes purses that say, fashion made me do it, launched a limited edition doll as a collector's item. There was a sale and I got it for under 30, plus a limited edition extra outfit was thrown in. I love seeing all these entrepreneurs out there creating their own doll lines. This doll has curly hair, movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the hip, and knee. She comes dressed in a salmon colored sweatshirt that says fashion made me do it. There is no opening in the back, but it does have a wide collar. Sweatpants with a drawstring that actually works. It is sewn in the back so you don't have to worry about the thread coming out. Fashion made me do it on the side. Stitched pockets stitching down the side. Cuffs at the bottom and it came with shoes. But I want to know, can the fashion fit other dolls? Here it is on a classic made to move Barbie. I think it's a little long in the seat. Here are the shoes. They might require socks. Here it is on a curvy. It's a much better fit. It was a little bit of a challenge getting past the hips. The shoes fit a little better, but I think still require socks. Here is the second outfit on a made to move Barbie. It's a pretty good fit. I've been shopping at my favorite Etsy shops and things just kind of slowly roll in. So we're showing them as they arrive. This is from M Creations Paris. When I saw this dress, I just kind of had to have it. Polka dots with puffy sleeves. This is totally for Mini Toya. Oh yes, with the hair, this is everything. Are those shoulders giving old school dynasty? I don't know, but I kind of love it. There's a split in the front and a long full skirt. I'll be keeping an eye out if you ever want to make this dress in all white. Just throwing that out there. And there's a gift. This is so perfect for the summer. Just picture Mini Toya on a tropical getaway. I ordered this November 23rd of 2022 and it was delivered February 27th of 2023. Priced at $10.99, the inside of the box is a scene. I love this idea. I just wish they were a little taller. This is a backyard accessories playset. Some assembly is required. Everything seems to just snap into place. And we have a little patio chair. We made something similar a while back using popsicle sticks. There's a video on YouTube. That was nine years ago? Wow. Prepare yourself if you choose to watch it. This playset comes with a fire pit with some wood and fire. There's a birdhouse and a stand, a paper bag with more accessories like a lantern, a bird, a towel or a small throw, two purple mugs with whipped cream, two marshmallows for roasting by the fire, and a potted plant. We can place them outside on our little balcony. Here's an Amazon fun find for a chair. The packaging got a little damaged in the mail. It was $25.49. I am currently not seeing the listing, but it might pop up again. It's a pretty large chair. I think it's plastic. We have some little brush details on the back and an attached white plastic cushion. It's about six and a half inches wide and five and a half inches tall. Here's a classic made to move Barbie body. It actually looks pretty good. 
our little Henry Cavill lookalike, our Trevor Noah inspired doll, dressed in elite doll world fashion, I bought this black hoodie and pants, inspired by his recent world tour look. Then I bought a few more things, and then there were some gifts. So there's new fashion. This is baby pink. I got it in a long sleeve top too. I got it in icy mint too. Here's baby pink in a hoodie for the guys. An XO hoodie dress with tall socks. A watermelon set and a floral set that I can mix and match with other pieces. On our wedding dress video, there were requests for us to try out this dress. So here it is. The veil is off-white. Eh, hmm. And the dress is a little dirty at the bottom. It velcros in the back and has a pretty long train. It gathers at the waist. However, I think the top could be taken in a little for a better fit. I almost forgot. Elite Doll World now has little household accessories. It's a little candlestick with little candles. Another Fabsome Bestie wanted to know if this Amazon set was a good size for 1 6 scale, even though it is made for 1 12 scale. So let's check it out. That toaster is looking pretty tiny. Personally, I think the toaster is too small for like Barbie unless mini toasters are a thing. I do like how this feels like metal and there are little springs, so that can go up and down. That's pretty cool. There are tiny little pieces of toast that fit into the toaster and we can push this down and it springs out. Oops, here it is with a Barbie. I'm probably going to give it to my Dream Ella extra iconic mini doll. There are four plates with a fork, knife, and spoon each. The plates can totally work for one six scale doll as like a saucer. However, I think the silverware is a little small. There's a pitcher and two glasses of milk. I think we could use those. It also comes as orange juice. There's a small plastic basket with six eggs. We might be able to get away with that. There's a tiny tray with a coffee cup. It's more like espresso for a Barbie. Then we have an egg and a croissant, egg on toast and a fork. The toast is a good size. And here is the coffee in a Barbie's hand. There's a little fruit plate, which I think is a good size for our dolls. We get three sets of bananas with painted details. Squishy grapes. Now that is kind of cool and a squishy peach. I think you could find a way to use most of the items. The toaster and silverware is a little small, but hey, maybe you like small silverware. Oh, and there's a newspaper. I'm probably gonna put these little spoons in a frame like she's a spoon collector. I ordered this gold dress from UK Barbie Couture on Etsy. There are a lot of events and parties in the doll community, many of which are formal, so I'm always adding to Mini Toya's wardrobe. This is a gold cutout dress. It has a pretty long train, a split on the side, and some cutouts at the top. Here's the back, and it snaps at the shoulder. And Mini Toya is ready for the next gold-themed event. And there's a gift! Just so you know, I don't expect for you to do this. However, it is greatly appreciated. I mean, who doesn't want free doll clothes? And this is totally giving modern day Morticia Adams. This is a slip on one shoulder dress with no opening. There's a high split and a long train. Make it in white. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're gonna close out this video with dolls for dolls. That's right, World's Smallest Micro Figures now has Monster High. I got all four for $34 on Amazon. There's Claudine Wolf, Draculaura, Frankie Stein, and Goya Yelps. Thanks to a tip from a Fab Bestie, we are adding these dolls to our miniature doll collection. They can be removed from the packaging. They come with a removable doll stand, there's a little peg that fits into the bottom of their feet. We have painted details 
and you can see that Goya has glasses. I like that we can display them in or out of the box. Here it is next to a micro figure Barbie. The Monster High doll is taller. What about a Disney mini brand? Okay, I think we might get it this time. I still can't remove the peg without breaking it. So I'm just gonna leave it. And on the bright side, it can help the dolls to hold it. The mini brand's Disney princess is taller. And there she is next to a Polly Pocket. Hope that helps with scale. Here's a tiny Claudine. You can see her eyes and everything. She's painted all the way around and also has a stand. This is what they look like in a Barbie hand. Here's Draculaura. And if you look real close, I think they even put the heart under her eye. Here's the back. And here's Frankie. White highlights in the hair and everything. I think it's fun seeing the Monster High characters so tiny. Wow, so today we opened mail, checked out some Amazon fun finds, recycled a mini brand's capsule, took a look at some Etsy fashion, dolls for dolls, and more. You know, random doll stuff. Thank you for joining us while we checked out a whole bunch of doll stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!